is to see uh, something that is quite significant that, will, that can lead to uh, a, a significant contribution on a small cottage, on a small cottage level for the change in revolution the government of Nigeria is talking about. For the government of any country, for that matter. Now, for real, there's somewhere here in southwest Nigeria, southern part of Nigeria, I can see from the forest, from the forest around. Now, someone here is sinking in a, an interesting facility that is designed to fetch anything from 50 to about 350 million naira per annum, depending on the stocking density. But the way we have to make that happen is what we have that I'm standing on now. And that's what we call the water recirculation aquaculture system. Now, water, of course, fish has to do water. Recirculating aquaculture system means the water is recycling. Now, now we've got about five points out there with water flowing in right in. But then when the water flows in, of course, it goes out on the other side. And it's captured by the gutter where there are those white pipes showing on their face. And then from the gutter, it now goes in right into camera man just for you. Now from there it goes in right into this uh, into this uh, chamber, into this chamber here. Now this is like a catchment chamber. Now go before then we have something to flocculate the uh, the waste of the fish, which consists of uh, floating debris. And what are the floating debris? That's the poo poo of the fish together with the waste food. Because you don't eat your food 100 percent Now we have that one here. Now in there we're going to allow uh, some other materials to capture that floating waste. It's going to be captured along the line. So that's very that's very important. I think let me have that uh, paper. Let me bring it here. Yeah. Okay. So something we'll have to capture it right here. Now from here the water now goes in from under the pipe in there goes in into this chamber. Now this is where we're going to have the water pump. A specialized one for that matter. Now, a specialized one for that matter that actually takes the uh, the water across into this into this chamber here. Now, don't mind this water is just test to see whether it is leakage or not. Now, right here we're going to have pipes. Four inch pipe. This is supposed to be the sedimentation chamber. We divide it into four uh, four, four compartments for ease of, uh, uh, for, for much more ricocheting of the water. Whereas well, the water lands in here, the pipes distract it, and then most of the weight settle in between the pipes. As they settle in between the pipes, they travel about, probably about uh, half a kilo before coming up through the other pipe down there, and then it goes in, goes in, goes in. From there, we're now going to the next chamber where the next waste is being taken care of. And what's the next waste? The next waste has to do with urine and any contaminants in the water. Now, this one is taking care of all the solid waste. Now, we're down to the liquid waste. Now, the liquid waste is now taken, off, taken care of here. One, you can see the con contraction in here. The water goes under, and from there, we have the media that will take it about a feet or two, or even three feet. So we now filter, remove the liquid waste because something happens in here. Apart from the media that we place in, we now have what they call special media bacteria that will be introduced, nitrogen fixing bacteria, to take care of all urine or ammonia oriented uh, liquid that is that is coming with the water. Now it goes in the first job is done here, followed by a second compartment that does the job a second time. From there, we come into the okay, we come into the top. And then normally what we have done in the top to save cost, we have tried to allow nitrification to take place in three. But really here we should have had what you call uh, ion exchange, water clarity then iron filtration in there. But for now, we just go nitrification, nitrification, nitrification. Then here we go with the pot, iron exchange chamber, where we'll have the uh, clinoxidolite. We can even decide to still go nitrification here. And then finally, we go iron exchange chamber there. Iron exchange for any contaminants or metals that come going there. Then from there, finally, we're now going into that chamber to take care of anything that has to do with iron that goes into the, into the system. Then after that, the system, the whole thing flows back into the water. 
for us in the Before we go on to see what we have over there, the water that's returning, I just want to show you this piece of material. Now, this is what they call the graded master plan for the whole structure. Can you just let them see what the whole structure looks like? Now, this is a singular model. Other models, it's got a second model, we've got a third model, we've got a fourth, and we've got a fifth. A replica of the first one. Now everything is represented right in here. This takes quite a while to put together. And what is being turned to reality is what we have right on this. Get closer. What is what we have right on this? Right on this. On this sheet of paper. Right. Hi. It's enough. Well, I don't me to hold on to it. Fine. Okay. Now. So I'm going to go down now. For us to see how the system runs on the other side, where the water flows, where the water flows out. Okay? So can I have the camera myself? So like I was saying, the water runs down right into this place and then right into the tap in here. The water goes in through the pipe. That's water that has been filtered. That's already been cleared up. Waste food, uh, fish poo poo, fish urine, and any contamination that's run into the water. So it comes out now clean water. When I say clean, I don't mean clean as in clear. If you want it clear, then you are going to use a lot of activated carbon, something to polish the water. But that's for some cost to customers. So even here, too, the client still says, hmm, let's, let's go with carbon. So why? Because your water can be really polished at the same time contaminated with probably nitrite. Your water can, but then here will have the water brownish, but then the water is clean because it can be, you can be murky at the same time clean. As long as you are not foul, then you are good water. But it can be crystal clear and be bad water. You can be brown and be good water. So what we chose is brown and good. Rather than have clear and bad. So we got the first pond here. And then here is the second. Here is the second pond. Now if you look at it, we've got a four inch and then you do that. And then you've got this very nice uh what's it called gate valve. And then the water goes in through perforated uh the perforated spray right in there. And it that makes it interesting. And of course you have a choice of colors so that you make it beautiful. That, that kind of thing. So I'll go over to the other side and show you the outlet and from there I should be on the quality. For you to put a, to put a walkway in between. It's important if you are not if you like the Mr. Fish type or the Mr. Fish size, then you don't need to go beyond about uh, 0 0.5 meters. But if you are the type that's uh, blessed with tummy and the back too, I'm not referring to a woman, I know some men are like that. So you will need to probably extend it to about one meter, right? After all, fish farming is, is being, the members of the investors are big folks, big in pocket, big in front, and probably big at the back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to offend anybody. But then that's a function of the ease at which work goes on. And then be very careful when you do your point. Don't make it to be probably more than 1.2 uh, meters at the best. And then when it's, when it's built, make sure it's at the rib cage of an individual. Because women don't like the idea of, rubbing their uh their endowments on a pond that's not fair so be careful not to make your pond to be too high if you want your mother to get involved in the project so let's go and see the uh, uh the, the outlet okay now here we've got the here we've got the outlet the, the the outlet here you can actually empty the water out by actually getting this gate valve to run out straight away oh this is really strong oh. 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 i can't get a hang of it i'm sure they will they'll have to hoil it now but then that's to empty the water and isolate the particular pond now but for the ponds to be fused to the other folks in terms of water recirculation we've got this that we call revalidate valve this controls the amount of flow of water right in the pond you can bend it down like that we have got the first one we have got the second one here too you paint it down, right, to not get water down to the egg there. Now, water that we have here, of course, this will be almost like an ice because it's water that contains all the waste of the fish 
and the waste pool too. So that will now go over there for processing. Now if you look at this side, you see it's a little wider here because you might have to take a, take a basin round from the back there out into this place. So uh, the first little bit and let's go to the back. Water or the gate valve that you see here is to actually empty the water in the sedimentation water. And then all this that we see here, these are all to actually uh, backflow the sedimentation water. Let's go up to the other side and see now. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are all designed to take back flow of water from the sediment chamber. Now this will be built out right to go into the soak away pit. This has three purposes. One, to take water, it will take water get rid of to take water from the to take water from the pond that is empty to back portion of the bar filtration and then any back portion of the gutter too. Everything comes in here, it's soaked away, and then so that there's less harassment of neighbors, rats, and, and the neighborhood. So this is ideal for areas where you have prime land or where water abatement is an issue, pollution in the environment. And that's why we call it the circulating aquaculture system. So apart from the high productivity, being able to put fish at anything from times two to times five the value, you know, of course, it's environmentally friendly. You can have this in a hybrid environment without the probing eyes of your neighbor. Mr. Fish speaking. It's raining already now, so you might not be able to go for that. But you can have a look at the old system, what it looks like. From another bed drive view again. Oh, by the way, the wires that you see, those are the erasing wires. The erasing wires. And then uh, what we have up here are reservoir tanks to actually put water into the system. When harvesting is done partially in in the production in the production tank, I think we had enough already for now. One little more, you can just give me a call, and then we we'll see how we can help you to achieve your dreams.